Hi everyone, Mayor Barak from TradeNet here. Welcome to my live trading session. And today, during my live trading session, we're going to learn two things. One is how to trade on a pullback. Second one is adding quantity based on the buyers and the sellers. First, Tesla. I just missed this trade. I wanted to short it under 207.50. I missed the trade. I never ever chased the stock down or up. So I'm about to short Tesla because it pulled back up a little bit. I waited for it to move up and I'm about to short and I'm shorting now. 2000 shares because it pulled back up. It touched the lows. The lows is normally a support. Yes, I wanted to short it before. Yes, I wanted to chase it down because you know it's a, it's something that is built in us. We miss a trade, but then we're thinking, okay, I'm, I'm just about to lose a fantastic trade, so I should chase it down. And But then you kill your risk reward and everything that has to do with your stop loss and your target and everything just goes wrong. So if you don't have a pullback, leave it just move to the next stock if you do have a pullback like i just did in tesla take it on the pullback wait for the pullback it will most of the time come so it just broke down under the lows i'm up 2800 dollars it's looking great it just reached my target i'm taking a partial leaving 200 shares for the continued move in tesla so please remember never ever chase a stock now second thing i want to discuss today is applied materials and twlo i decided i need to add to both of them. Now they're both after a partial. I already took a profit in TWLO and applied materials, $1,800, $1,600 or so. I'm first looking at applied materials and I'm planning my trade. I'm about to add 600 shares. Making the calculation, I'm going to have around $1 stop loss, which means I'm risking approximately third of my profits, which is the right way to calculate it. But then I'm looking at TWLO and I'm thinking whether I should do the same. Around the same idea, 600 shares. The chart looks great. Technically, speaking the chart looks great but then I'm taking a look at the time and sales and the level 2 data now notice the numbers on the time of sales uh, the white numbers are, are trades that are done between the buyers and the sellers everywhere in between you see it's a bit spready like six seven cents or so red colors means there's a pressure of the sellers which means the buyers are willing to sell at the price of the sellers that's how i set it up on my colmex platform again white a lot of red a lot of white sometimes you will see some greens but mostly white and red white means there's no decision red means look at how many reds you've got now pressure from the sellers now there's a green trade over there as you can see but not a lot of these why trade why trade and mostly the stock is coming down when i saw that i decided that's not the time to add quantity to twlo so based on the information that i have received from the time and sale and from the level 2 data which is a depth information about buyers and sellers i decided i'm not going to add to twlo now applied materials just moved up spiked over the highs reached my target looks great you can see that the stock was holding up at all times and when it finally moved up it just spiked up i'm up 800 dollars and i'm about to take my partial again selling the 600 shares that i added at a profit of around $700 and again leaving 200 shares for the continued move so applied materials really did work out fine but uh, and then we need to take a look at TWLO and look at what happened to TWL the point where I thought I should add was right over here this green candle but then I saw that there's more sellers than buyers. I noticed, some, noticed something wrong is going on with TWLO. I decided I'm not going to add to the trade and look at the result. This stock really came down and it came down and if, if I would have added, then I, of course I would have had a stop loss. Now take a look at the results. You can see the TWA stays, stayed almost the same as it was. So I just later sold 200 shares, which I kept uh, that I was holding and look at the results in applied materials I was up 16 or 1800 dollars I can't remember but now I'm up 2200 dollars so the added quantity worked out fine in applied materials there was no reason to add to TWLO based on the buyers and on the sellers also had a nice trade as you've seen earlier with Tesla it kept coming down a loser in Nvidia small winner in Boeing and a small loser in Amazon I'm going to finish this day up over four thousand dollars thank you very much for watching I hope you enjoyed there's plenty of links right here below one of them is to our live trading room you can join us for a free 14-day trial and you don't need any credit card to do that and more links here to the same platform I'm trading the Colmex Pro platform start with a demo because trading is extremely hard and most traders lose money especially at the beginning so be careful join us 
Thank you very much for watching this video. Please give me a like and don't forget to subscribe to my channel right over here. Thank you again. See you in the next video.